Introduction to Estimand Framework Market Access Episode 6 Professor Mondor Timmy invites you to the lecture. If you wanted to design a good clinical trial, what would you need? Hmm. A research object? Yes, please. A reference intervention? Placebo is okay? Yes, thank you. An experimental group? Yes, and control group. Have you got everything? Hmm. Maybe estimands? What? Why do I need them? Clinical trials give us description of the effects of the medication. This description can be complex, and for example intercurrent events can affect the interpretation. What happens if someone receives rescue therapy, changes their baseline therapy, or experiences relapse or death? Oh no! You should take these events into the research questions before the study begins. This is the purpose of using estimands. Okay, could you tell me more about this? An estimand precisely defines the target of estimation for a particular trial objective. Answers the question what is to be estimated, accounting for relevant intercurrent events. An estimator is a method of estimation or, in other words, an analytic approach aligned with the estimand. An estimate is a numerical result computed by an estimator. As the estimator is always underpinned by assumptions, the robustness of the results should be assessed through an estimand-aligned sensitivity analysis. The estimand framework is a systematic approach to ensure alignment among clinical trial objective, trial execution, statistical analysis, and interpretation of results. While the main focus is on RCTs, the principles of the estimand framework are also applicable for single-arm trials and observational studies. And any data type, longitudinal, time to first event, and recurrent event data. Now it's time for the emergence of estimand guidelines. The term estimand was first used by Ross and von Selisky in an article in 1939. First draft guidelines for estimand was published in 2017 by ICH for public consultation. First guideline was adopted on 29th of November, 2019. Adopted by EMA in January 20th and FDA in 2021. Okay, can you tell me more about estimands in practice? In fact, a single trial can have more than one estimand, each reflecting a different way of dealing with intercurrent events. This may help to address the needs of various stakeholders interested in the trial results, such as regulators, physicians, patients, or payers. It also allows to assess the impact of intercurrent events on the results and generalizability of the trial findings. Do you already know everything? Hmm, I don't think so. I need to know more. Thank you, I will be there. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share this knowledge with others.